everyone welcome to mit ov placement cell today aditya barve from third year cs mit is with us who got the internship from the uh, university of zurich which is situated at switzerland so uh, hey hi aditya how are you uh, i am good yes i am good also so tell us about your internship uh, how you come to know about, uh, know about this opportunity uh, yeah so Uh, it happened around the end of the last year so in october november i was searching for some international internship programs of different universities or uh, even different companies so i like searched a lot on the google on google and also watched a lot of uh, videos so uh, and during that searching only i came across this year opening at university of zurich and uh, then simply i i just simply applied for it and then uh, thankfully like i got a reply back from them and uh, after that uh, everything else went on and uh, tell us about your internship uh, what post offered to you uh, what project uh, offered to you uh, sure so basically the pro- uh, post offered to me is software engineer intern at university of zurich so mm-hmm. and the project uh, project which i am working on is in the domain of machine learning so the main idea behind the project is to automate the training of machine learning models so like right now whenever someone wants to train a machine learning model they have to write a code in python or uh, any other language like matlab or r so uh, what uh, like the research group which i uh, which i am uh, working under so what they are trying to do is they are trying to create an interface uh, uh, through which the training of machine learn- learning models can happen without uh, writing any code so like you just have to select the options like, you just you just have to interact with the ui and uh, a whole machine learning uh, machine learning model will get trained for you so like that is the main project which i am working on so yeah okay and about university you want to tell something uh yeah so the university of zurich is situated in switzerland and uh, it is like the second uh, second top university in switzerland in the so whole switzerland and in uh, qs ranking it is uh, ranked 60th uh, in the uh, across the whole globe so okay, okay. as a sub, so like that's some ranking about the university Uh, what benefits uh, are from this internship uh, okay so like the first benefit is to uh, i'm getting a chance to work in the domain of machine learning so that is like the first and foremost benefit and uh, second would be like getting a chance to make some international connections so that would be like another important benefit for me so yeah are they going to offer you any stipend or uh, accommodation what are the another facilities offered by them uh yeah okay so yeah they are going to uh, offer me stipend so the stipend is uh, 1000 chf per month uh, and like in the indian currency it is around 80000 per month so okay. yeah so that is the stipend offered to me well and uh, about accommodation uh so right now it is uh, a remote opportunity so uh, and f- like because of covid 19 so they are also working from home only so right now it is remote but in future it can uh, happen like uh, it can uh, be physical so at that time uh, they like they let me know of the accommodation okay and uh, what was the pro- process for the selection uh, okay so the process was quite simple so uh, i just have to so i just had to apply on their company's uh, company's website and uh, like so in the application form they just asked me for for my basic details in my resume and like uh, the the form was like similar to the company's form like how companies take uh, take our basic information and after applying uh, in around 20 to 30 days they got uh, got back to me like uh, uh, got back to me like uh, saying that we want to schedule a round uh, interview round with you and if you would be uh, interested interested in the position and then uh, so like yeah so then the interview rounds got scheduled and so on and after that they offered me the position for that okay means after the uh, application form uh, directly they took interview of you yeah like the professor which i'm working under uh, like his name is dr aaron horvath so he's a uh, uh, like post doctoral researcher at university of zurich so he contacted me on uh, my email that uh, we found uh, found your Uh, experience relevant and uh, we would like to schedule some interviews with you and uh, yeah so after that the interviews went down and finally they offered me the position 
okay and uh, how you prepare yourself for this okay so uh, so prepared basically in the interview they focused on three things so the first was my coding skills so my data structures and algorithm skills so okay. for that like i have been uh, i have i am into competitive programming so because of that uh, i was able to clear their uh, like coding questions and so that was the first thing which they focused on in the interviews and the second was that they uh, they asked me to share my projects like one of my project so like i had to share my screen and show them one of my projects so that was another thing so i would say like uh, making one, so uh, i showed them one of the project which i done in my course work in mit only so that was another thing which helped me to uh, crack it so uh, yeah so that was the second thing and the last thing was my previous experience so uh, so before joining in uh, like before giving the interview of university of zurich i have been working as a sd intern at a startup uh, for almost 6 months from june to december so uh, so they also so they did ask me about that also so that was another thing which uh, helped me in like preparing for the interviews like they had asked me about my previous experience like what you did is what you did there what uh, what all the main things you were assigned with what are like what all tasks you did and so on so like that experience also helped me a lot so okay. yeah so basically coding i prepared for coding uh, projects and uh, my previous internship experience so that was okay and what other things you required for the application other than resume uh, so for application you require resume uh, and then you require a, a like academic transcript so you can ask for academic transcript at your uh, college examination center so basically it is a it is a document in which all your scores are written and how the scores are calculated and so on like the college provides a, a official template like uh, how, like this college is under spp how how the examinations are taken and so on so it is written in a descriptive way then your own marks are also there like what is your uh, what is your grade in each and every subject from first year to uh, till right now and uh, what is your total cgpa so the everything is there in the academic transcript so that is one thing which they ask for so you can ask for academic transcript in the examination section of our college so that is one thing and uh, some universities like i had applied for some other universities also uh, like internship programs of other universities abroad so uh, some of them also ask for letter of recommendation uh, but this the but the university which i am working under they, they didn't ask it but most of the university do ask for lor also okay okay and uh, some advice for others who are enthusiastically searching for the internship like this uh yeah so my first and foremost advice would be to apply as much as you can so even if you think like you are not prepared for it so then also i would suggest that apply as much as you can because sometimes if uh, you might think that you are not uh, suitable for that for that position but uh the company or that university might find your profile relevant to their to their work and they might contact you so the more you apply the more chances you have of getting a reply back from at least one of them so that was my that would be my first and foremost advice that apply as much as you can and the second would be obviously to upskill yourself to so focus on the data structures and algorithm skills because most in most of the interviews they would ask you to uh, like solve some problems in front of them like they would ask give you some problems and uh, like coding problems and they would ask you to share your screen and solve and solve those those problems in front of them so that would be the second thing and uh, yeah and to have at least one good project so having a one a one good project is like uh, more important than having a lot of project because uh, in the interview like they would ask you to like show one project that, that they would not ask you to show all the all your project so having one good project instead of having like decent a lot of decent project would be more important so that would be the second thing and having some internship experience previously would uh, would be another important thing if you are like uh, if you have some uh, internship experience at even a small company that that would be helpful in applying for these uh, abroad internships okay okay thank you aditya